Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on formatting a form control checkbox using Excel. In this Excel worksheet, I have fictitious data I'll be using for this example. And I will be adding a checkbox to this worksheet that allows the user to move back and forth between displaying the mean of this skill test variable and the median of this variable. So first I'm going to move to the ribbon up top here and move over to developer. Now if you don't have the developer option available on this ribbon, just go to file options and this Excel options dialog will appear and you want to go to customize ribbon and then here under customize the ribbon on the right, make sure that you check off developer. In the developer ribbon under controls, I'm going to click insert and then you can see there's two options here. One has the form controls and the other the ActiveX controls. I'm going to be using a form control here and specifically the checkbox. I'm going to select that and then place it on the worksheet. And under edit text, I'm just going to delete the name that was assigned to it. So it's just going to be the checkbox now. I'm also going to resize it so that it fits in the cell E2. And instead of using the text in the actual form control, I'm just going to use the cell F2 to name the checkbox. And this name will simply be mean or median. So after I type that in, I'm just going to expand the width of the F column so that the checkbox and the label for the checkbox display properly. Next, I want to link this checkbox to a cell. So I'm going to right click, go to Format Control, and where it indicates Cell Link, just click in there. I'm going to select H2. And while I'm in this dialog, I'm also going to check 3D shading and click OK. So now, as you can see, when I check the checkbox, in this case, when I uncheck it, it moves to false. And when I check it, it moves to true. So we can use this cell link to indicate the status of the checkbox to an if statement. So before I build that, just for reference, I'm going to establish the functions for the mean and median over here to the right. So for this skill test variable, the mean for this variable will be equal sign average and then all the scores in that variable. So I'll select cell C2 and then control shift down arrow to select all the other populated cells and I get an average of 15.28. That's the mean of the skill test. So for the median, that function is going to be median, and I'm going to use the same range. So we have a mean or average of 15.28 and a median of 15. So now to construct the if function, it'll be equal sign if and you can see that there's three arguments here for the if function, the logical test, the value of true, and the value of false. So I'm going to make the logical test when h2 equals true. And then comma. Now the next argument is the value if true. So the value if h2 is equal to true. When h2 is equal to true, it'll be this value, the value of true, that will be displayed. Now you could also reverse this. You could have this read h2 equals false, and then the value of true would be when the cell h2 is equal to false. However, I think having it set to ht equals true as the logical test makes it a little easier to keep track of. So the value of true will be the mean, or the average, so that's going to be average, and then 
cell C2. Control shift down arrow. That'll bring us down to the end of this range, C51. So we have the average or mean for all the scores under skill test. Then we have the value if false. We want this to be the median. The function for median is median. And then have the same range, C2 through C51. Press enter. And you see we have, at this point, the mean displayed, matches the mean, 15.28. If I uncheck the box, now I have the median displayed, and that's 15. Now what would make this easier to interpret is if we had a label here that told us when we were displaying the median, as is the case now, or the mean. And this is fairly straightforward. This will be equal sign if, and again, h2 equals true. And the value of true will be quotation mark mean close quotation mark, then comma, and the value of false will be median in quotation marks. So now this label will match the statistic as we check and uncheck the box. One other modification that may help, this checkbox isn't very easy to see the way it's configured. It's a white checkbox in 3D against a white background. So I'm going to select the cells behind it and change the background color. And it might also help to change the font color here to make it match the checkbox. We can delete uh, these two statistics. We don't need them, they're just there. So I could demonstrate when the mean or median uh, were being shown here. And as for the cell link for the checkbox, we can just make the font color white and we won't be able to see it, leaving just the items of interest in this case, the mean and the median visible. I hope this video on configuring a form control checkbox in Excel was helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.